What's going on? This is Magic Mitch, the food adventurer, and in this video, I'm battling a pizza challenge. But not just any ordinary pizza, but a pizza with a whole pile of nachos on top. And we'll talk more about this food challenge fusion in just a moment. And if you've been following along, this is day 27, challenge number 17 of this tour across the UK and Europe. And for this particular battle, I'm at Brujos Cardiff in Cardiff, Wales, taking on their Chili Con Carnival Nacho Pizza Challenge. And I was definitely excited for this one because it would be the first time that I would ever take on a pizza challenge where there's basically full blown nachos as a topping. That's right, you got a big old pizza and that thing is topped with chili beef, cheese, chips, salsa, sour cream, and guacamole. You also have a few jalapenos in there which, thank goodness there wasn't too many of those because I did not want to run the risk of just absolutely liquefying my insides. But anyways, you have 30 minutes to finish this challenge and if you're able to do so, you are rewarded with the meal for free which costs 23 British pounds and your picture up on their wall of fame. Now at the time of filming this challenge, it was technically undefeated, though someone had been an earlier version of this that was being test piloted, but they made some changes to it before it officially launched. And since then, about 30 or so people have fallen victim to this monstrous nacho pizza creation. And I tell you what, I was going to do my best to make sure that I was not one of them. Which is of course why I suited up in my turtle armor and my pizza socks. To give me those enhanced magical food fighting abilities against this pizza type monstrosity. As far as my game plan for this food challenge, it was actually going to be a mix of strategies I use for both pizza challenges and nacho challenges. For the pizza aspect, I'd be eating some of the inside of the pizza first, saving that crust for later, then maybe even making a few pizza sandwiches along the way. As for the nachos, generally with nacho challenges, if the chips aren't softened up from the toppings, they just absolutely shred the inside of my mouth. And when you throw salt into the mix, it's not a good time. So I was also going to try to portion out some of the toppings as best I could, but in this case, I did also have the added option of using some of the pizza for that. You know, having some pizza, mix it in with the chips. Once that was done, I'd go back to finishing the pizza crust, then clean up whatever toppings I had left using my mighty big spoon. And now before we get into my thoughts on this food challenge, we're going to do question of the day. And today's question is, do I ever get lost while traveling overseas? And uh, the simple answer is yes, <laughs> like all the time. So here's the thing. While on these international food challenge tours with Randy Santel, I leave everything to the big man as far as figuring out where we're going to go and how we're going to get there. And part of that is because he has more of a, what you would call situational awareness, though that's not really saying too much between the both of us. But also he does have a phone with more robust internet capabilities to use overseas. And speaking of phones, we definitely need to address a certain addiction of Randy's at some point. But there's definitely not enough time to dive into that rabbit hole here, so we'll save that for another day. Anyways, to keep it simple, yes we get lost, but I have enough faith in the big man that he'll eventually get us to where we need to be. When we'll get there? No idea. But I know we'll get there eventually. So now as far as my thoughts go on this food challenge, I'm giving this one a thumbs up. First thing, I love challenges like this, where it's more on the unique side. I don't think I've ever seen another pizza challenge quite like it, and I'm also going to give this a few bonus points for the restaurant itself. It was a pretty cool place, with live music and great service. And I also want to take some time right now to say thank you to the wonderful staff and to everyone else who came out to watch and cheer me on. It was truly appreciated. And as for the taste, again I'm going with a thumbs up because, uh, well just simply put, everything was fantastic. Pizza and all. I was even pleased with the crust on this one. And something that wasn't overlooked by me was the fact that everything, as far as the toppings go, they were well portioned out. Which because there was a good balance of toppings, it made everything so much more enjoyable. Cause then you have the opportunity to taste all the great flavors that this food challenge has to offer. Personally, one of my favorite parts was whenever I had the combination of some of the pizza with a little bit of chili beef, a few chips in there to get a little crunch yet not suffer the consequences, and some guacamole. Oh baby, what a pleasure that was on my palate. It was so good. And with that being said, if you're enjoying your time watching this dude in a hero in a half shell turtle armor as he takes this nacho pizza challenge down, then be sure to leave a little magic of your own by liking the video and leaving a comment or question down below to keep the conversation going. And if you would like to watch this trip from the very beginning, a link to the entire playlist will be down below and I'll be sure to see you in the next food adventure.